Donald just laughs at everything. He was just laughing. <laughs> I was I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, me too. Right? <laughs> Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. Good morning, guys. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, welcome back. It is me, it is her, it is she. Okay, <laughs> I got on a different hat. Don't trip. Anyway, guys, we are here at Indigo Sky Casino. Indigo Sky Casino. We've been here for a couple days, and actually, this is our last day here. So, uh, we always like to get out and see what the town has to offer, things to do, stuff like that. Well, there's nothing to do in this <laughs> little part of town. So, right now, we're just gassing up. Yeah. Uh, we might walk through the casino to see, because y'all know I'm a gambler at heart, but I just can't afford it. Right? <laughs> but if I could afford to gamble, that's what I would do all day. It's but what if you win? Yeah, I, I never go in with that <laughs> attitude because then I'll, it'll become addicting. Oh, I was close to winning. I was close to winning, but yeah. then I didn't win. <laughs> But anyway, um, I want to say welcome to all of our new members. We appreciate you, my oldie but goodies. Thank you. You guys know I love y'all the most. If you're just stopping by and you run across this video, come on in, join the family. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. But today is actually Friday, mm -hmm. okay? So in the morning, we'll be heading to Kansas. Yes. McConnell Air Force Base near Wichita, Kansas. Near Wichita, Kansas. So uh, we have changed up our route drastically. Oh, yes. I'm a little nervous. It's but exciting. But at the same time, I'm excited. And so I don't want to spoil it right now for you guys and be like, oh, we're going here, we're going there, because we keep changing. Because, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, when I tell y'all something and I don't do it, y'all be like, I thought you said, I thought you said. <laughs> so we're yeah. just going to kind of keep you you know we'll let you know where we are but uh i'm excited to be in kansas now i'm gonna tell you something about this place that we're at right now it's very quiet mm. and the people are really friendly and nice yes this is it's a good place to pass through yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying so if you've never been to wyandotte Oklahoma. <laughs> Wyandotte? Is that how Wyandotte, you pronounce it? Wyandotte, Oklahoma. Wyandotte, Oklahoma. If you have not been to the RV spot, it's it's really nice, but I'm sure Donald told you it doesn't have full hookup and stuff like that. Yeah, just electric and water. But, just electric and, and water. And the best cell phone signal of any RV property yeah, ever been this, to. I had to give them their props on that one because I told Donald, I was like, you know what? We should just go, oh, we should go live tonight. We're good. So I know y'all seeing this later. So at, we we have gone live. If you've seen this video, <laughs> you're gonna try to go live from the RV today. Yeah, if we can, if just see how the day goes. There you go. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna get ready for tomorrow because moving days are really hard for me, and I don't know when. I was talking to my good sis CC over at CC's World TV. If you have not gone over there, go over and give her a shout. Tell her I sent you. But anyway, uh, I was talking to her and she was like, well, moving day is just hard, period. You yeah. know, it was, it's just, it's hard. <laughs> and I'm like, but I get lazy on moving day, but I'm not going to let that happen to me because tomorrow I do want to leave on time. So I'm going to do my best work to get us in and get us out. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. <laughs> See, moving day is, 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 is a little more difficult than a normal day, but yeah. ours is not so hard because we've, we've managed to compartmentalize our, our uh, own duties and everything. Yeah. And now, because Cece is a glamper extraordinary. When she travels, she travels with her whole house. You know what I'm saying? She got all kind of stuff out there. Yeah. But, well, but that don't mean she use it all the time. Look at us fighting over you, Cece. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you're going to be... See, we were only here for two and a half days, yeah. honestly. So it doesn't make sense to me to unpack. Exactly. Now, if we were going to sit out, then I would have put out my room and my chairs yeah but we weren't going to do any of that and let me tell you this but when i say hot oh my god hot <laughs> when, 
I, mean, like, many, I can't even get the H out. That's how many not, H's is that? That's a long H. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> it, I have never, listen, I have experienced some heat before in my mm. life, but not like this. It's hot. And they broke records yesterday. Yeah. They broke records yesterday. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to sit inside the RV. Like, the RV was reading, <laughs> what, 83 degrees? That was pretty good. Yeah, 83. But it was still cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But the bedroom. Because it's know, a dry heat. Yeah, but my bedroom was cold. So oh, I was yeah. in there under the cover, watching TV, <laughs> you know, watching all my TV shows. And I just let Donald and the baby sit out and deal with that heat because I just wasn't going to do it. <laughs> Looks like we're getting a new neighbor because we hadn't had anybody in a mm -hmm. long time. I like these spots in the back. So if you come here, it's best to get the spots behind in the back back here. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why it's because they're spaced appropriately. Yes. Like you don't feel like they're all on top of you. If you have to get the middle rows, you're kind of staggered on top of each other. So if the person next to you lets out their awning, it's pretty much touching your RV. Yeah. That's how close the spots are. No, yeah. If if he had somebody next to him, he wouldn't be able to put his awnings out as far as he got them. So yeah, yeah it's 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 very close on the parking spot, like I showed y'all in, in the previous video on yeah. the uh, was it the Wednesday video, or was it Thursday video, the Thursday video. And one thing Donald didn't tell y'all, I don't think, because I watched the video yesterday. Uh, they will shuttle you to the casino. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So they give you a number to call and they'll come to your spot and actually pick you up and take you to the casino. Yeah, Super cool, but I'm just like... Yeah. It's, like it's like 200 yards though. It's I mean, like... it's walking but I mean, after you lost or maybe for late at night yeah. if, you, if you go late at night. Because they do have like last night they had uh, a country western band here last night yeah. that was playing and you know they just have a lot of activity. I ain't gonna say a lot, but they have activities oh, going, they got on. Stuff going on. So if you decide to stay late, at least you know you can get home if you drink too much at the casino. Because you know <laughs> some of the well, you only get like coffee and soda for free. coffee and soda for free. Yeah. But the drinks I heard were pretty cheap. I don't know, but we're gonna go inside. Look, I'm talking too much. So we're gonna go inside and just see what it's like. And right now, we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, get this gas for tomorrow's journey all right all right fam hey guys so as donald and i are getting ready to walk in the casino i'm just gonna tell you how nice and friendly people are here one of the ladies was dropping uh one of the customers off from the casino and so we get out of the truck right and she was headed that way and she was like come on guys let me give you a ride and i was like this building is the casino right <laughs> She was like, yeah, and our car is right here. I was like, oh, that was so sweet, ma'am, but no, we'll walk. <laughs> Donald just laughs at everything. He was just laughing. I was I'm like, I'm like I'm, me too. Though, right? <laughs> well, because you can never tell because all the buildings look like they're running together. So we're going to go in here and get this money. <laughs> so... I'm going to let y'all know if we're going to have a family reunion or not. <laughs> I'll be back. fam so this is our last day here at Wyandotte Oklahoma you know the uh, RV park owned by the casino over here the uh, Indigo Sky Casino and DJ and I just went for a little walk and we decided to stop off in this gazebo I told you all about on Thursday I think it was well DJ just loves the thick green grass matter of fact he's over here rolling around like a little five-month-old puppy dog just loving it and so I decided to take a break and break out the uh, phone and just share it with you guys 
This is like simple life, and I don't know, everything about this makes me smile. The big old shade, right, even though it's like 100 degrees out there, the slightest breeze just feels so good. And it's so quiet, listen. Can't really hear the cars. There's no music, I like music. But not a lot of just anything, just calm. And it just feels really good. And that breeze, ooh, it's another breeze right now. <laughs> I love it, DJ love it. A lot of people are at the pool today. But you know what, like I said on the video last time, no dogs allowed, so. Me and DJ, we probably do about four or five walks a day. Me and DJ, we probably do about four or five walks a day. How often do y'all walk y'all little fur babies? Is that excessive? We'll do four or five walks a day and we'll do like 45 minutes or an hour under the awning just sitting there right next to the fan. I have a bowl of water with some ice cubes in it and then when the ice cubes melt, a few minutes after that, we head back inside. I think DJ might be getting spoiled though. He'll look at me like, uh, outside, awning, which one? What you wanna do? Your choice. But we're not staying in here. <laughs> he'll just, he'll climb in the front of my knee and just stare at me with that DJ long stare. I've gotta get a shot at that one day because it is hilarious. He does the same thing with Peggy when Peggy has food. He'll just look at it, she'll say no, and she'll give him a piece, then she'll say no, that's enough. Then she'll give him another piece, and he's just never satisfied. <laughs> I think he thinks he run things around here. So, as y'all know, I think we're going live tonight in, about, in a couple hours. Peggy said because the signal is so good, we might be going live. So, if we did go live and you haven't seen it, come on now, go back and watch the live. But yeah, this is nice and relaxing. You know all the time Peggy and I say, hey guys, remember to goddamn do something good for yourself? It ain't gotta cost money. I can sit right here with my little puppy dog, feel the breeze and the shade, do a little bird watching. Every once in a while you see like a little all yellow with green tip winged bird. And they zoom by. They're too big to be hummingbirds, but they're like finches, I guess they are. Anyhow, I'm just going to keep doing something good for myself. Me and DJ, we're just going to hang out a little bit longer. All right, fam. Come on, DJ. Mm -hmm. the next day so I'm gonna welcome you again back to the channel so this is it's time to go so I hope you guys can see everything last day here there's that casino let me show you where we live so this is the back area to work. Oh, let me shut this door. We had a couple wasps get into the RV yesterday. So. So this is what's behind the RV. If you, if you will. Ooh, you can kind of see the road from right there. But listen at that nature.
Hey guys, so Donna was doing the last of the hookup and stuff, you know, like taking down the hoses. One thing we have to do today <laughs> is we have to stop at this dump site and dump. I'm not going to share that with you guys, but since this did not have full hookup, it's been three days. So, yeah, that's going to be fun for Don Juan. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we are headed to Kansas. We'll be really close to we'll be really close to Wichita. When Donald gets in the car, I'll ask him specifically where we're going, but I know we're going to a military base in Kansas. I've never been to Kansas. I've driven through Kansas, but I've never been, you know, visiting Kansas. So that'll be another little notch on my map. But anyway, yeah, um, everywhere we say we're going is going to be a scorcher. And I was watching the news today and California has another fire and they've had this drought. They have a drought that they haven't had in like, what, 12 years or so or 20 years or so. And so they had this burst fire or some kind of fire. And so <laughs> we may have to reroute again because we were going to go in that direction. I feel like when we were trying to go that way last year, somebody wrote us and told us the same thing. Like, I know you're not headed to California because it's burning right now. And I'm like, I, I promise y'all I am on it, but I, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to play it by ear. You know what they say, you want to make God laugh? Tell them your plans. <laughs> So maybe it was just meant for us to go a different way. I don't know, but we'll keep a watchful eye out on it. Because I know last year, uh, my nephew sent me a picture of an orange sky last year in California. And it was like that for a while until things cleared up. So, yeah, Don and I will be talking about that. But I'm excited for Kansas. Like I said, I'm excited about all the new adventures and stuff that we'll be taking uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys this morning. We're not going to stop anywhere, so I made my own little tea. Not tea, my iced coffee. I'm addicted to it. I need to stop drinking so much of it, though. But every time we get ready to go, I get a nervous stomach. I don't know what that is like. I'm fine. And I did all my packing last night. And what I, what I started doing, guys, is... Like last night, I cooked us a nice meal, right? So that when we get where we're going, dinner is already made. All I gotta do is kind of like warm it up a little bit. So uh, I haven't really cooked for Donald. So I made him some smothered pork chops and we're gonna do corn and probably mashed potatoes. But I smothered those pork chops last night. He went to bed, he was like, oh my God, that smells so good. It did smell really good. And uh, he's not big on gravy on his meat, but he will allow me to uh, smother a pork chop for him. So I'll, I'll show you that later in the thing. I mean, you guys know how to smother a pork chop, so. But my rule came out really good this time. I was like, I don't know what I did differently this time, but I hope I remember it for the next time because it came out really, really good. So, I mean, I hate cooking fried foods in the RV, but we didn't have a choice yesterday. Say good morning to the family. Hey, what's going on, fam? Good morning. So, yeah, we're going to um, get ready and say our morning prayer and get ready to go. So. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You know, I gotta um, stop by I know the you, dump I told station. Him yeah, and, but then after that, we're gonna head on out. We're gonna head on out. More adventures await. Adventure await. So we'll see you somewhere down the road. All right, fam. All right. Hey guys. So we are at our first stop. We are officially in the state of Kansas. We are at a rest stop here. And Donald went and got us lunch. So, we are having tuna salad from Subway. 
Donald was out walking DJ. It's a really nice rest area. It's not too big. Um, yeah, so you gotta like, you gotta love living on the road. It's awesome. Like I like these little moments, you know, where we could stop, sit down and talk for a minute and just have lunch. It's like almost having a picnic. <laughs> so anyway, this has been a really nice ride. But anyway, um, it's just been fun. Donald's getting back in the car now, so we're going to go ahead and have our lunch and let Donald stretch his legs a little bit. I think we have like another hour and a half to go, and then we'll be at our destination. Seems like it's going to be a scorcher today, too, but I'm excited for it. I don't, I don't know why I'm so happy, y'all. I'm just so happy. I, I, I am just loving this time, like Donald and I are getting back to the reason why we started this RVing thing. We had a really good conversation in the car today, and I'm just super appreciative. Hey, honey bunny. Hey, what's going on, Cakes? So I was just telling them we're having lunch and everything. So yeah. I'll see you guys after we have our lunch. All right, All right. Hey, guys. So we have made it to, what part of Kansas is this again? Wichita. We are in Wichita, Kansas. At McConnell Air Force Base. McConnell Air Force Base. So be looking for that video probably on Tuesday. Donald will give you a breakdown of the base. It's it's a decent base. So anyway, you know, we had to stop and I did a grocery, not even a grocery haul, but I just want to show you some of the things that we have for this week. We are finally going to sit down and do a Taco Tuesday. We haven't done that in a long time. And so I told Dom, I was like, look, that's a good meal for a lazy day. So we're going to do uh, Taco Tuesday this week. Since he already got his tequila, if you guys were in the live, you know he has his tequila, okay? It's running low. It's running low. When it runs out, that's it. <laughs> All right. I don't want to hear y'all talking bad about my bologna, but I got bologna and I got Dom some brown and serve. Uh, oh, he is not going to eat that. Donald says Vermont maple. Uh, the brown and served sausage. I'll eat that. Okay, so I got that for Donald's breakfast. And for our Taco Tuesday, I went ahead and got the taco kit, right? And then I got the salsa. And then, of course, there's the ground beef. And then I bought some flat pork chops well thin chops so they had that on sale at the commissary and then I got Donald some orange juice for his mini fridge outside so maybe he could stop drinking so many sodas right so much ginger ale oh these I love these these immunity boosters so this is my favorite I mean they're all hard to drink but this is my favorite. I, I can at least get that down. So I have those. I got Donald some little chips to go with his sandwiches for the week. I got me some pranks. We ain't gonna talk about that. I got my favorite drink and I got Donald some uh, Oreos. So that's the little haul we had. It's not really a haul, but these are just the things I got for us to have this week. I did a really big grocery run before we got to Oklahoma. So. I did most of our grocery shopping um, at, I always want to say Scott Leonard Wood for some reason, but I did most of our grocery run at uh, Fort Leonard Wood, so we really didn't need much this week. So the good thing about this place is they have a walking track right in front of the RV, so there's no excuses for me to get my exercise on this week, all right? And DJ... It's already getting comfortable. He's sniffing around to see if we picked up any little things. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this food away. And then I told you yesterday, uh, what last night I cooked our dinner for today. Brilliant idea, Peggy, because now all I have to do is warm it up and warm up the sides and we will be good for today. Tomorrow is a no cooking day. Every man for himself. <laughs> Donald's going to have to eat like uh, sandwiches or something. But we're having Sunday dinner on Saturday. That's what we're doing. And uh, I think that's about it for right now, guys. Um, 
I will pick you back up in a little while. Okay. Hey fam, so right now I'm about to feed my husband before I hop in the shower and call it a day. It is still early. What, what is it, about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock? I'm just extremely exhausted. I stayed up last night. So that I try to stay up on travel nights so that I can sleep, you know, on the way so I won't be driving down the crazy. Take me up. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust.